Welcome back to Bomberman Jetters. Today we are entering the hot world, the cleverest titled world in the world. <laughs> well, to be fair, the last one was Green World. <laughs> now there are only two gigantic rocket engines left. Uh, uh, the Dark uh. Star is now very close to Planet Bomber. You have to hurry, White Bomber. Don't ask me how we're not dead. Kaboom. Understood, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> that would be great. Understood. White Bomber, the enemy will probably become more dangerous. You should be especially aware of the volcanic bombs. <laughs> I've got it covered. I had a lot of caffeine today. <laughs> I'm starting to care more about my job, but I still can't act. <laughs> okay, sadly, Travis isn't with us. He's going to be really busy for a while. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. At least we have probably the best background music in all of Bomberman Jetters. Are those ninja Higes? Yeah. What does that have to do with fire and lava? I don't know. It's a spa house, and that's innately Japanese, I guess. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> um, those spouts right there, you can throw bombs into them and disable them temporarily, but they don't usually hit you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, you need scenery. Yeah. And the music's pretty good, actually. Oh yeah, I love this track. We're not having another version of Redial where it's <laughs> eventually I hate it. I can smell secret. <laughs> Sea drum or sea drin? Sea drin. Oh. You can see it. It's that thing over there being run at by the Higgies. Is it an octopus? Oh my god. Thanks a lot, Shout. God. You actually made that bomb inert. <laughs> Look. So, so you saw the Higgy running around. I dropped a bomb right in front of it, right before Shout said something. As soon as she started talking, the bomb disappeared. <laughs> I can see the Hige is using a uh, bomb camouflage. Yeah, uh, there are three different ninja Higgies. The red ones transform into bombs that I think explode when they hit you and uh, occasionally are actually immune to your bomb blasts. The, the green ones throw shuriken at you and the blue ones jump around and usually jump into the air and throw like four shuriken at you at once. <laughs> I, I could just imagine he turns into a bomb. Oh, I got you now, bomber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not immune all the time. Ah, uh, okay. To use the seesaw, place a bomb on the opposite side. Okay, at this point, I think Shout is just lonely. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've had like four fucking transmissions in under one minute. She never stops, <laughs> ever. <laughs> There's a nice little remix there. <laughs> it fit. You know, at the very least, the seesaw one is her first useful piece of information in, like, I don't know, five parts. Ever? Because, first time playing this, I didn't exactly know what the seesaws did or how to use them. So that was a useful piece of information that I just didn't listen to. <laughs> well, to be fair, she's always giving you useless shit, so the one time you actually need something, eh... Took me a little while to figure out where the hell to go, but I do eventually. It involves Pommy? No, Pommy is very selective. Oh. No, I don't want to jump the small gap. I have to have a plank <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> you see, there needs to be the Pommy symbol until I can jump. There isn't one. <laughs> well, why do you think I don't jump? <laughs> Eventually, there's this big argument <laughs> against the producer. Pommy gets replaced with this some dumb blonde cousin of his. This is Debbie. <laughs> there's a Y at the end, so it's related to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw a shuriken at that bomb! Ah! Yeah, the green ones are one of those enemies with not a lot of survival instincts. <laughs> Yet they're ninja. Yet they're ninja. The blue ones are ha like actually have pretty good survival instincts. They will actually jump above a bomb if you throw it at them, and usually the bomb will miss them as a result. And they really like roofs for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. that's Still holds true. I'm more likely to hurt myself than an enemy is. At least you used a bomb kick. You were trying. 
Yeah, I was trying to get away. As you might have noticed, the point of this is to stop the flow of the lava, which happens instantaneously. Ah. You know, for the first time I saw the animal, I thought it was an octopus of sorts. <laughs> no, it's some weird water dragon. Ah. Just wait until I actually pick it up. It'll be frightening to say, to say the least. <laughs> Can't wait for it to say its name. Oh, it's weird. It's no pox, but it's quite amusing. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> what the f Gift request that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the? Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like they recorded his voice on like one of those really old keychain toys. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy recorded it with his face to a fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Derek San, we're gonna need you to uh <laughs> fucking <laughs> I don't I'm not Japanese, so I don't know how it works for you. <laughs> uh That's one of the more insulting things I've heard in a while. Is this a hot spring? I don't Shut know, up, I can't Shut see up. it. Bitch. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's a pool of lava. Oh, the thing next to me? <laughs> Remember when I mentioned, like, second part of the entire Let's Play, how the Bomberman have kind of carved out their own lives and enjoying their, themselves? Yeah. They have hot springs. This is what I was talking about. It's a rock. <laughs> they couldn't have called it, like, Super Kai Man or something? I mean, it got bigger. No, they don't change the name, it's just... It looks slightly weirder. Huh. So, they kind of like combine Digimon and Pokemon, is what I'm getting. Sorta. Of. I... Uh, I with guess. The with the names, with the names. Maybe. In that they make no fucking sense. Oh well, yeah, like that, of course. There's a lot of exploration you can do around here, not a lot to actually find. <laughs> yeah, I mean, being on the roof, you still get the same exact view, so... It's yeah. like, well, now I'm up here, and, uh... <laughs> sure, it'd be nice to see where the hell I'm going. <laughs> Thankfully, this level is relatively close to being done. <laughs> well, damn, <laughs> three shuriken at a time, that was pretty good. Yeah. Hey, look, he jumped over it. Hey, look, he missed. <laughs> But he still jumped in place. <laughs> oh, I really need to capture this soon for uh, the next part of this world. Occasionally you can get a bomb right under it and it will jump on it and stun itself. <laughs> Does he like hit himself in the nads or something? <laughs> it looks like it, because he kind of hovers on it. He's like, hey, yay! I don't think their voice could get much higher. <laughs> Take that bridge. <laughs> Fuck, that's my only way of getting across. Why could you be made out of steel? <laughs> Bathhouse Higgy must die. Oh, what did it do to you? <laughs> it looked at me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, I'm sorry. Didn't even look at me funny, it looked at me. That's the worst crime of them all. This here is proof why Pommy Dragon is pointless. Why do you need Pommy Dragon to do that? <laughs> Couldn't they use a seesaw? Be careful! The area boss is approaching! I didn't notice! <laughs> Once again, we approached them! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were standing right in front of it before he started talking. I think she's just oblivious and when something bad happens, she thinks it's everybody else's fault. <laughs> I think she's kind of like that in the show, actually. <laughs> My fault? No, it was the fucking birdie. He breathed at me. Interesting thing about this mini boss, it be it only becomes hard right here. Uh, when it's down to like two hearts, it jumps around and will actually knock bombs out of your hands. So you kind of need to drop a bomb and lead it over to a bomb instead of actually throwing it at it. That's kind of clever, but come on, developers, that's not good level design. Or boss programming, for that matter. 
Whatever. <laughs> well, you still gotta cross the bridge, but okay, area cleared. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough of it cleared, I could say fuck this. <laughs> like, hey, hey, I got this far, okay? You can go on the rooftops here. Be careful because the enemy is also stronger. What does that even mean? <laughs> we were on the roof before. What's so special about this place? No, every single level she has to remind you they're getting stronger. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it. I guess they mean, hey, we added like two more enemies in the level. Watch out. It means nothing. I'm sure, the Higgies kind of change tactics, but they don't get stronger. Well, I, well she needed dialogue. <laughs> No, she didn't. <laughs> well, they said, well, we recorded dialogue for two worlds. Might as well keep going. What do you think? <laughs> that fucking poll. <laughs> I noticed that it's always projectiles in these Let's Plays that, like, are the most effective against you. I mean, in, in James Bond, it was the door and now this. <laughs> if anything gets in the way, I just, I don't make it. <laughs> it's like, well, I can't get this one. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's the bridge lowered. Keep that in mind. We'll be coming back to that. Alright. But true to Shout's word, you do spend a lot of time on the roof in this level. Oh, oh thank you, Shout. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> you can go on the rooftops. Again. <laughs> as always. So the bridge is down. Uh -huh. I just about crossed it. Lower the bridge and cross over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> in case you haven't done it yet. I think Shout, like, I don't know what it is. I don't think she's actually watching you. I think she had, like, I think she laid out trip wires or something, and whenever you pass them, that signals to her to just say something she has written down somewhere. <laughs> she's like looking at a, a magazine thing, occasionally glancing over at you. Yeah, sure, yeah. And then she like tells you something. Oh yeah, don't forget to get some milk while you're there. <laughs> Or maybe she's, like, so lonely that she needs to tell you something and she doesn't know what Twitter is. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the all the other Jetters avoid her. <laughs> like, I mean, Twitter can care about shit. You know, oh, I ate a sandwich today. Wow, that's great, Shout. <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I got your papa! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool that when they transform into bombs, you can kick a bomb into them and they instantly explode. That guy was looking at it. <laughs> Did you see how deep his voice was? <laughs> was that his voice? It was like, here Oh no, that's the frog thing. Oh! I thought it was him. I was like, whoa, what's so special about the blue ones? You might find this amusing. Those frog guys, I don't actually get involved with them in this recording, but uh, they say, uh, ghetto ghetto. Oh boy. Which might amuse you. Uh oh, it does a little, actually. Yeah. Fuckers! <laughs> Well, it is the Japanese uh, onomatopoeia for a ribbit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, they also jump around and find barrels and <laughs> eat them. And any power-up that was in the barrel will be in the frog when you kill it. Okay. You, you know, I'm thinking, like, when the blue ones, like, when they jump, they're not actually trying to dodge. They're just, like, really scared, and they're just jumping at one spot. Oh, God, oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Too bad the greens can't do that. Speaking of which, there was some over there, and... I'm going around. You can actually fuck with these guys. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll be over here. I saw him. I saw him. Frank, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there they are. Then they're facing the wrong way. <laughs> fuck you, Frank! <laughs> I want to get right behind this guy, but... <laughs> I can't. <Aww. laughs> I was like, fuck it, just take it. <laughs> here, I'm giving you a hit. Really, the best course of action is just to bean him in the back of the head. <laughs> well, it's been working so far, so I'm happy. Yeah, hey, I'm not complaining. Yeah, just... just, it really would have been great to just get right behind his ass. <laughs> and drop one right there. That that could be misconstrued in so many ways. <laughs> you're a sizzling coming from my ass? Uh, 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 uh I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're talking about, oh yes, there yes. is. Well, that was taco night yesterday. <laughs> Do you hear a sizzling from me? Ask, are you hitting on me? 
for the last time, I don't think you're attractive. I know it's hot world, but come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong hot, God. <laughs> By the way, worthless mice. Uh, oh, they're pathetic. I guess Pox needs an enemy of sorts? <laughs> he already had the vultures. Yeah, but, like, I don't know, maybe mice were involved in the Pox story? He does look like an owl. Oh, shit, there you go! But anyway, in that little hut of sorts is a uh, heart piece. Hmm. Wait, uh... And on that other side of the building is this nice little cache of bananas and a melon. So I want to grab that, too. I believe I level up Pox next. Ooh, I want to see. I want to see what Pox sounds like when he evolves. Uh, they, their voices don't change, just their appearance. Uh, okay. Which really sucks. They are, they were missing out on... Excuse me. They were missing out on something. <laughs> just imagine Pox really deep. Pox! <laughs> it's from Pox! Pox! Like death metal growl. <laughs> Every evolution is like a new stage of music. Like they're going through their teenage years. Fox! Fox! Oh! <laughs> he is a teenager! <laughs> I just had to do that. Yeah, that's always fun. Rule of thumb when you're right near. Um, leveling up a uh, Carabomb. If it's like level 3, which is the leveling up cap, and you're right by some fruit, uh, hover in place first. <laughs> no, um, collect only what will level you up and not be wasted. Like, if it's just a little sliver, only collect bananas and maybe strawberries. Don't waste a melon on it, because that's a complete waste of experience. You should use that on a smaller Carabomb. Interesting note. Yes. I'm supposed to be informative here, <laughs> if you forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are You are the one playing the game, so... Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of I actually didn't piece that together. Like, the melons would do more. I, I never caught that. Yeah, it goes in order from banana to strawberries to melons. <laughs> I, I thought all, all fruit did the same thing, so... No, you can kind of tell, because uh, uh, they're progressively rarer than the previous. <laughs> Either that, or I thought that like each Carabomb had like a specific um, fruit. Like if they like bananas would be like their favorite or something. Remember, this is a watered down Bomberman generations. That's far too complex for this. <laughs> right. I mean, look at our puzzle here. <laughs> Bomb this switch. A bathhouse this time? What next? <laughs> what is this bullshit? Am I right, Bomberman? <laughs> Oh, just you wait until the next part. She turns into a grade A asshole. <laughs> More than she's already been? These guys don't even see me. They don't give a shit. And they're dead. I hope you're proud, Shout. I hope you're proud, Bomberman. The Jetters are terrible people. <laughs> we'll save the world by blowing shit up! You cleared them, all right! <laughs> Fucker. Extinction, more like. <laughs> Come out and play with fire! With Flame Bomber! But beware not to get burned! Is he giving you the middle finger? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, don't get burned! That attack he just shouted out is called Flame Fire. Flame Fire. Flame Fire. This is what we're working with, folks. <laughs> Wait until I use my candle flame attack. <laughs> okay, that's more creative. Fire knuckle, there you go. Let's see if I can explain this guy. Please do. He's Flame Bomber. He has the one gimmick. Um, those candles work as protection from his fire knuckle. They will block the little fire shock wave so that it won't hit you. He uses Flame Fire to destroy the candles so that Flame Knuckle can hit you. Not that it actually works. Um, I think this is the very first... Uh, 
bomber boss where you actually have to come back with a different elemental bomb to get the uh, lightning card from him. Because I tried all three of the bombs I have right now and beating him with them don't seem to work. So the only, the only lightning card I get this time is the time card. Huh. Alrighty then. <laughs> time to get serious! Super fire attack! <laughs> Let me get serious. Toaster in a bathtub. <laughs> he just runs out of fucking fire things. Yeah, at this point I say fuck it. Just run at me and I'll hit you in the head with bombs. I could come up with better names. Inferno Tornado. Come on. <laughs> Have you seen that picture? Oh, uh, which one? Of a fire tornado. I didn't know. It would be fucking... Yeah, it would. It would be a great attack. <laughs> Lightning or... You're good, I can't wait to fight you again, ow. I'm gonna have to, sadly. It's Batra. Bombs will power up. Batra? What? Batral? Bat no, Batra. Bat uh. That's a fucking parrot. It looks, it looks like a mix between a parrot with a pterodactyl. Whatever it is, it's not a bat. <laughs> yeah. Well, they couldn't call it Paratals. <laughs> Paratross. <laughs> uh, okay, that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> that would rule. But it couldn't be that cute little thing. Uh, yeah. And it would have to have a, a less lame ability than maxing out your bombs. <laughs> in case you didn't notice, it's very easy to max out your power-ups in this. <laughs> a little too easy. Watered down generations. <laughs> I... I, I Question for the thread. Would you guys like to see a comparison video between uh, Generations and Jetters, since we're not going to be Let's Playing Generations? Uh, I wouldn't mind. See, like, well, you see, Generations is actually, well, good. Give me a chance to script everything and sound professional for once. <laughs> since you guys haven't seen uh, Majora's Mask, and let's hope you never do. Fire Flame, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> You got it backwards. <laughs> Whatever, it's just, it doesn't fucking matter. That was a lazy name. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, he's a fire bomber. What should his attacks be? Um, Fire and flame. <laughs> Guys, what if we put that together? Johnson, you're like belting these out today. It probably was a localization thing. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they get lazier later on. God, I don't know. <laughs> Aqua water. <laughs> Frozen ice. <laughs> Grass leaf. <laughs> wind air. <laughs> I want to see wind air. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, one more. Thunder lightning. <laughs> A bit late for that, sadly. Shit. Oh, well. At least we got thunderball. <laughs> oh, I know that one. Thunder attack! Uh, thunder lightning attack! 